So we have a monitor here, it's a dial monitor. And uh, in the middle of the screen, we have this uh, lock uh, icon. It's changing, it's changing locked, unlocked, locked, unlocked. Uh, it seems to be uh, the button problem. Uh, at the moment, the power button is uh, still working. So if you can power it off, you can power it on. So this is no problem. It seems uh, all this button has uh, no effect. So it seems to be one of uh, this button uh, is stuck. So that uh, this symbol uh, displayed, locked or unlocked, the two picture are uh, changing to other and the back so we're going to have a look and to see if we can repair uh, this problem uh, we're going to uh, make the computer uh, sleep so that uh, there's uh, no signal send to the cable so we make it uh, sleep now all the monitor in the sleep mode, there's no signal sent to monitor. So we're going to remove the power cable. It's here. I'm going to remove the signal cable. So now we can open it up. I think now we're going to uh, press it open. So we start from the bottom. You see the bottom, there's some uh, openings here. So we just try to put this, put this, these tools in to the small tab. Small opening you can see uh, at the edge. Plastic. So you can see it's opening up.
the back cover clipped to the front front uh, bezel so we try to see this we just try to unclick them and all around are this kind of a uh, clip clip in So the corner seems to be difficult if you uh, release the corner so like this is going to be easier okay this corner also opened But still, there are some clips, I think. Okay. So, we just do press that way and the other way. This way, this way, and other way. So, we just uh, lift and separate. Now it's a separate. So now this is a so here the back cover you see we can see here oh my god so the inside you can see this clips will get into those holes and also there are the tabs put inside that's why it make it difficult so this a uh, little bit uh, deformed so be careful so all this around this this clipped in and also with this so it's a difficult to remove so now the cover removed so you can see this is uh, the inside of the monitor it's an old shield with the metal and at the bottom that PCB board is going to be the button board you can see this side so the button board is on here uh, we're going to try to remove this uh, button board and to see if we can clean the button board There's the cable around the, the board get penetrated that side so you have to you have to press this one to make it uh, to make it back and on the other side I think this one this one maybe we can add some pressure to take it out so that side definitely uh, get into this uh, plastic hole okay So we just uh, uh, press here and take this tab out and the whole board is now out. So all buttons seem okay, but we're going to use some uh, alcohol to clean this button 
have some uh, hundred percent uh, alcohol. Just to uh, give some drops for the button. I think this is three button. We don't want to touch the other button. Three manual button, plus minus button. This is a, a power button. That is the indicator. Power on indicator. Try to shake out the alcohol. So after shake out the alcohol, let's dry for one or two hours, and then we can resemble. So you can see, uh, we have a tap here goes into that hole, and we also this side. So we have uh, a cut here, and this just to get into the plastic clip here. And this is the clip, and that plastic clip, just for this shape to get in. To install, so we're going to insert this tab first into the side plastic. Say so it's, uh, it's getting out from this side. If I turn it, you can see. So you can see it's getting out this side. So it's getting out. After it's getting out, so we make sure it's get into the track, and we have a plastic uh, uh, slot there. Say so move a little bit. So here we have a plastic slot. Make sure it's a get into that slot. And here we get a cut and also a plastic hold. And on this side, just the tab. So on this side, you can see we're going to push it down and it should clip in. We push down, it's clicked in. So that's how you install back. To remove this uh, button board, just uh, push back this side and lift the board. To put it back in, you just uh, put this side in first into the hole and align the clip together and push it down. So we're going to put uh, everything back again. So this uh, uh, cable, uh, we're going to root the cable. There's some clips. We're going to just uh, put the clips. Here's another clip. And this side, there's another one. So the cable laying very well. We're going to put the back cover uh, back. Okay, let's put the back cover on yeah maybe everywhere just uh, just uh, press them down it should be okay yeah just press them down so all around press them down so very easy to put things back but not that easy to open them up all the clips now this is okay so we have the back cover on so we just uh, install the stand for the stand there are two legs get into the case over there and we have one screw one screw and another uh, two screw 
around here you can see there's another screw two screw hole and then we screw them back in I have got uh, everything installed and uh, cable connected just to switch it on now it seems okay but the icon appeared again and again this button seems not working I have tested the button it seems all working with the multimeter so I think the problem may be the circuit for sensing this uh, menu button some problem with the circuit so that is always think the button has been pressed and actually the button not pressed I think the circuit problem this is more difficult to resolve I need to open it up open the circuit change some component uh, I don't want to do that at the moment. I